Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Everybody, what we're doing today is installing the perspex on our hatches. We've gone up a size, we've gone to a quarter inch. We've just cut that out, uh, which is the paper, make sealing these new hatches on a little bit easier. Taj has gone around and cleaned up and buffed out all the aluminium. So these are cast hatches, they're quite heavy duty hatches. So we've pulled out three of these hatches. They were all crazed and cracked and pretty sad and they definitely were 100% not watertight. We chose just to do three to start with. Taj and all well, the Ford V-Birth and Taj's rooms are pretty good. It looks like someone's actually redone them. So to replace these, I know in Aussie dollars it's over like $2,000 a hatch because they're super heavy duty cast alloy as opposed to the lightweight extruded um, ones that are, I don't know, maybe $600. But, uh, we thought we've got some solid windows so we might as well just work with what we've got. I think I got four acrylics for under $200. So it was quite cheap. It's really just a piece of acrylic, six mil. More so just the labor of things tidying up the cast. We were going to paint them or powder coat them or put some sort of coating on them, but being aluminum, we didn't want to go down the path of the bubbling, what aluminum does when it powderizes. So um, we're just gonna leave them raw. Uh, it's a bit of a debate on that one. Uh, Sarah posted something and pretty much 50% of people said leave it raw and the other 50% said uh, we'd be crazy and make sure we paint it. So we're going to be crazy and not paint it. Okay, so what I'm doing this mainly for is that when you look from the top side, I don't want to see any bits that aren't covered. So this has got to be done in two stages anyway. So I just want to make sure this part's done right. It says to apply to both sides. People have a few different ideas on how to do this. But this is how we're doing it. So from the top view now, this will actually, once we remove all the paper, it should all be covered. Because the perspex is see-through. Yeah. And because our frame is aluminium be able to see it otherwise yeah that should do us that's got to cover on all that pretty much there's a little bit Sarah's pointed out that I haven't done right now I've made a mess of it no there are oh, these bits oh, I wasn't listening I didn't have my listening ears on <laughs> what's new part where we get messy, isn't it? All right, so I've put a complete bead around here for the bed. I've covered this over. Um, I'm gonna put this on now and compress it to where I want. I wanna allow a little bit, and so it's got expansion and movement. It's not directly on the cast. Bella's just giving me some gloves. The black sealants just seem to stain your skin if you get them on there. Not that you should have them on your skin anyway. I'm going to try and put this on and then press it down. Like I said before, I've covered all this. So if there is any odd bits that were thicker or thinner, at least from the top view, it's going to look like it's complete. Son of this. I just want to clean this edge and then I'm going to flip it over and we're going to clean the bottom up and then um, we'll flip it over and leave it and we'll let that first stage set and then we'll go along and we'll fill the perimeter uh, once that's dry so I'll get ready for our next one and this will leave this for I'm not quite sure I've been heard told a lot of things so some people say leave it overnight some people say leave it three hours so I don't know it's pretty warm I think everything's gonna dry pretty quick so later this afternoon we may get there and finish this otherwise we'll finish it tomorrow so Taj cut all these out for me so just easier when you're doing any sort of sealant I find to leave the paper on as long as you can. 
because it's always easier to peel paper off than it is to clean up sealant. Why do we know this, honey? We've been there and done that. <laughs> I don't really want much visible visible here. That's just, I'm trying to remove nearly all of it. All right, this is looking good, guys. I've, I reckon I've got like about two and a half mil and it looks really even now that I've cleaned all that up. So what I'm going to do, I've wiped off pretty much the excess that I want wiped off. Um, I'm just going to turn this over once more and check that I haven't got any misalignment happening. And then I'll turn it back over once it skins. I'll uh, just run around and finish that off. There's not a lot of excess there. But I'll let it skin up first and then I'll get a little bit of turpentine and I'll just run around with my finger after I remove the, the tape and that'll be that sort of side of it done until we finish the final fill. So I'll do that now, I'll turn that over, I'll check the alignment's still right because it's still wet, I can still move it around. I'll just make sure I haven't moved it and then I'll turn it back over, remove all this let it skin up and I'll finish it and then that can wait and we'll let that set and then we'll do the final finish up and the uh, top corking it's looking good okay now I just got to find someone with picky fingers to remove all this masking tape and paper it's ready for a fine little wipe we'll let that set and that's the first stage done how I want you to pick it off is so that you know just pull straight up I want you to it so up. it peels like we do when we're doing the anti-foul line yeah so we just don't want big strings everywhere. Okay. Yeah, you're peeling it this way, darling. You like keeping it flat as you peel it. See what I'm doing? Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's why you do it. Oh, look at that, eh? <laughs> a bit like doing your anti-foul line. You can just either pull it up and it strings out, or you can pull it down a little bit and it just cuts it nicely. Oh, look at that. It's a nice, consistent little... Um, bead we've got there. How'd that go, flow? Um, that's good. Now we've got to get this up somehow without... Same deal with this with the pull up the side. One thing you might not know about mum is she loves to peel things back and pick at things. And well this is like opening a new iPad for the first time and peeling back the protective layer. Very satisfying.
I'm on to number two. The other one's up there. Uh, I had a few little dramas that I've sorted out. These were originally snapped off the bolts that were in here. I used the easy outs to get a couple out. That one actually was a success. This one over here obviously was not. So what I've actually done is I've used what we call a helicoil. So I've oversized the hole um, and I'll be inserting this and my bolt will actually be going inside of this so I didn't want to damage or break these because it is cast and I actually snapped one of my easy out tools which is to remove the bolt so I thought instead of breaking the cast because the, the effort that was to go onto the um, easy out was just too much so we oversize that, we're going to use this um, helicoil, insert that, and then that'll take our bolt. I've put all this together, we've got our new gasket to go in, um, I'll put on the clips again, we've got our new perspex in. Alright, done that little renovation, and we're about to install one. So we're just going to get some butyl tape. Um, Resize. There was there was originally screws going through. Um, we're going to put bolts in there just so we can pull down nice and evenly on the butyl tape. We'll tighten it up, not too tight tonight. We'll let it settle, and then in tomorrow we'll give it all another little tension, and that should be one hatch in. If we're lucky, we're going to try and get two hatches in. And um, if you're even lucky, eh? You probably we might get even get three. three if we're even really lucky. We'll see how it goes. We haven't started yet. Thinly. Oh, just enough so that that's going to be when we do that up now there's plenty around that hole that's going to seal there's no, gap. there's no gaps so probably that probably looks right does it from the top yep so i just want to achieve that look all the way around and then when we squeeze it down there's no like if there's a little gap there water will leak in the hole so we're just putting a little bit extra so we don't get a leak
Touch number two. is going in means the boat is nearly watertight. A few more windows to go. <laughs> well, I don't want lots. I want them all in first. You're not messing up my bed, are you? I'm trying to work over there in the corner. I've been squished out. They've all okay. taken over. Okay, lift it down. Teamwork makes the dream work. We got poopers. We got Tyler. We are so grateful. We have had a, another delivery. And this one has come from the fishery supplies. It's our biggest package yet. <laughs> what do we got, Val? What do we got? <gasps> <laughs> Crash. Crash. <gasps> yes. It is a toilet. Oh my god, this Freaking is the best package we've ever Electric <laughs> toilet. <laughs> that is the best thing we've received. A couple of new toilets to install in the heads. Let's get this out of the road. And then get all this. That. That. Our switches and plumbing bits and pieces and literature for me to read for the install. Bilge pump. Because I don't know if you still believe it, but this boat does not have a bilge pump set up. It hasn't had a bilge in here for quite some time, so... So this is amazing, and especially because we are about to leave the boat for a week or two, because we have to, and thank God this arrived before we left. At least we know we'll, uh... The boat's not going to sink if something fails. Hopefully, that's good. We've got... Oh, another fan. Thank you, Roger. Hi, Catalpa crew. I think a new name for the boat should be Catalpa Sequel. Enjoy your gift. Thank you, Larry. Been watching your adventure since episode three. Keep it up, from Dave. Thank you so much. I would love to make you a cutting board custom size for your new kitchen. Not sure how to contact from Dave. Oh, thanks Dave. If you're still interested, you can email sailingcatelpa at gmail.com. You can start growing sprouts. Sprouts in five days. Thank you, Lisa. All right, Gary. Thanks, mate. You read my mind. This is uh, definitely a handy little bit of kit and um, yeah. I don't believe I put this one on the list, but anyway, it's definitely going to come in handy. Thank you. Guess what's happening, everyone? <laughs> it's very exciting. We have had our new toilets delivered today. Thank you very much, Kenneth. And um, Leah's going to try and install it tonight. So that's exciting. 